Okay, so I'm at quizlet.com. I'm just going to sign up over here. Sign up with Google. Now, I could use my nudgy one, but I'm just going to use my demo one so you can see what it looks like. Uh, click Allow, and then it asks you for your date of birth and stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's asking you for money. Don't do that. Go to or continue with free Quizlet right there. Okay, so once you're at free Quizlet, you just go over to here to create. Okay, so now we're creating a new study set. Now they have flashcards. So on one side of the flashcard, you're going to have a term. On the other side, you're going to have like a definition for that term. Uh, so I might do some uh, business stuff. Alright, so that's my flashcards done. You can also add images, you can add uh, like a recording. I'm just going to go down here and click create. Uh, oops, forgot to add a title. Create a title, then I'm going to click create, then we can get started. Alright, so it's created my flashcards now, and you can see that link here. I can send that link to my students, and they'll be able to access the flashcards immediately. Now I'm just going to open that link in a new tab, so you can see what the students will see. Alright, so this is what our students will be able to see. And they're going to be able to do all of those different things. Flashcards, Learn, Speller. Opening up the flashcards, they are just flashcards. So click to flip, thing you owe, click to flip, that's a liability. And you can flip the cards back and forth. Now you can do Learn, Speller. Let's look at the test. This automatically generates a test based upon the flashcards that you created. Now the student can fill that in and it'll tell them whether they're incorrect or correct when they submit it. And they can do that test that gets automatically generated so it changes every time. Now scatter is cool. You can just drag the bits around and like drag them on top of each other. They disappear. You get like a record, 12 seconds, and then you get to try it again. Uh, gravity is like this like asteroids type game. A thing comes down, you type in the answer. Um, another way to play it. You can do learn, you can do spell as well. Um, so learn is, you just type in whatever the other side of the flashcard is. And speller, uh, speller's a bit weird, they actually like say it out loud and you type in what it is. So it's pretty good as well. Alright, so if you think you might use Quizlet a bit, you can add a class. Uh, it's as simple as typing in a class name, a description, um, then say allow your students to add study sets if you want them to be able to add their own sets. School name as well, obviously. Create that class. Um, now, you'll want to add new members to that class. So you can do like a bulk email invite. You can also just send them the link and they'll be able to add to that class automatically and you can also link it with your Google Classroom if you've got Google Classroom as well. Uh, but a great way to get started with this is as simple as creating a set of flashcards and sending them the link.